We are on that side. There's quite no coverage on it. We are on the Tesvav, right? Tesvav and Alf? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tesvav and Alf, we are in the Shar called Varin. It should be around half of the way down. The Shar called Varin. All right. Now today it's not a hard Gemara, but everything is messed up. All the gear souls are so messed up today; it's not even funny. The shark called Varim really is not the beginning of this Gemara. In fact, this Gemara really should have a header, and the header does appear later on in the Gemara. If you look about four lines down, there are four words: Mishitagalga bechitim utatamtein b'saorim. Do you see those words? Well, those words should be up here, according to the Gra. Mm-hmm. Or the Rosh Siraleo, actually. You should move them out up here. And that's the header from the Mishnah. The Mishnah said, when is it considered to be the Shas Chiyu by Chal of Chala? When is the time when you to separate it? <coughs> once you roll the dough by wheat dough, which is rollable, and once you, uh, you know, in other words, it's very well mixed, and once you're making Bisorim, which means you just lightly mix them together, which is a much earlier stage. You don't go much further than that by barley. Now, <coughs> picking up from where we should begin, the Shire called Varim, that was all the header quote from Mishnah. The Shire called Varim, going back, Mrs. Zuga, you have to play this? The Shire called Varim, everything else, Amalg ben Akhartim, to me, you go after the lighter mixing, when you're just uh, combined, you're supposed to mix. What happens if you make a grain from both wheat and white rice together? What do you follow? Do you follow the gilgul, which is the, the, the mixing well, which you would follow with wheat, or you follow the timtum, which is the not mixing so well, which although in rice you don't follow it, because rice you don't take challah off of, but in this case we said, where you mix wheat and rice together, so it is chayv and challah, because the rice is considered tafel, is considered subordinate to the wheat, but maybe because it's mixing with rice, so then you go after timtum, and not after gilgul, after the lighter combining, not after the more strenuous mix, the more it doesn't answer the question. Tiny Rav Hesha. Rav Hesha taught us. Chala can mean gavlul. Chala is like a gavlul. What does that mean? So now skipping the next four words because he read them already. Rabbi Lezim Shem Rabbi Hesha said, Misha Tase gavlulin gavlulin. Once you have little clumps in the dough, in the batter, that's already the time you have to give chala. Ma upalik. So what? Does he argue in our Mishnah? Our Mishnah said once it's well mixed. Now, when, now when there's still little clumps, it's an earlier stage. Says One is mida baran, one is mida raisa. Meaning, the mida raisa, it's not chayiv and chala until it's well mixed. Mida baran, you cannot snack from it once it's a little, uh, once it's already somewhat mixed. Uh, uh, although there's still little clumps of of, uh, of flour in the batter here and there. Tani Rabbi Yehuda Mem Se Omer Mishetase Mikratzos Mikratzos When you take of chal when it's ready is in loaves not baked but made into loaves okay into mikrat mikratzos means it's been uh, what's the word where you uh, need it yeah well, no not need it form the form the uh, form the loaves well you actually let it rise for it okay but it doesn't have to rise you just have to form it. That's all. Okay, even if you're going to let it rise as loaves, that's sufficient. My time, they even say, what's the logic of the Trumas Gorin, Ketrim Moso? Because we say that Chal is like Truma. Ma Trumas Gorin, he tells me, Nagamra, just like Truma is taken for that, which is completely uh, um, processed already. Af Zuni tells me, Nagamra. So to here, it's taken for that, which is completely processed. Ask Gamara, Meatul Shete Afef, that's the case, so wait till you bake it. And take it off of the baked product. Rabbi Masnaya says, no. Lo'ukshol is Truma's Gairan. The only linkage to Truma is in terms of Elalim Leches or Irus Bilvad, is in terms of the kneading. In other words, it says in the Torah, Reshis Aris Hosechem. The first of your Aris. Aris means batter. So therefore, you take off from the batter at the time that the batter is complete. When is the batter complete? So he's when the batter is complete, not when you fully mix it, but rather when you made the 
challah forms before it's baked, but after you made the challah forms. So that's why he says that's what you should take of challah. We pass them from the time it's needed, uh, not of time it's. No, full needing. You can do it beforehand, but the best time to do it is when it's fully needed. Okay, because it's my malach. After it's needed, before it rises, yeah. I don't know if that's necessary before it rises. I take that back. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're going to get that later on. I really don't know. You take challah? You don't have to, but No, but it's not enough. You can't do it. Oh, okay. Because you don't make enough bread. That's true. I don't make two loaves. Well, only two loaves, nowhere near enough. Oh, you don't make Uh-uh, don't take off challah. Okay. Not even without a bracha. Okay. But you have it, it is challah if you take it off, but you're not supposed to. Okay. Okay? What is, what is the minimum sharing? 43 and 3 fifths bacon. Yeah, it's approximately how much? Approximately uh, 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 2 kilo, 5 pounds. Yeah, I mean, why would you take it yeah. off? If you're giving it to the Kohen, we would give it No, but you have to, you know. Bismana says no shear anyway. I don't think it's no shear. Time the Gemara, you missed it. Time the Gemara is a shear of 124th. Oh. 124th of your dough. But uh, now there's no shear because it doesn't go to the coin anyway. That's oh, that's part of the point. Okay. Rabbi Yossi B'Shem Rabbi Shem and Loki said, Rabbi Akiva. Now this is really going to the next part of our Mishnah. <laughs> the Mishnah says, the Mishnah said that at the time, even though the preferable time to take off, um, to take off, Chala is from the time when it's fully needed. However, you may take off Chala from the time you pour the water into the flour. That's already the earliest possible time, and at that time it already takes effect. So Rabbi Yosef Shem Rishim Lakish wants a very interesting thing. He wants to say, our mission is like Rabbi Akiva. This is really relevant to Mr. Zucker's case. We learned over there, if you take Chala from a Kav, from, which is one one fifth of the actual measure, right? One fifth of the measure, which is about a pound. So you take from a kav, Rabbi Akiva Mer Chala. Rabbi Akiva says it's Chala, and Chachomim ain't a Chala. Chachomim says it's not Chala. So we see that that Rabbi Akiva holds that you can take Chala even prior to the Shatz Achiyuv, the time when it's actually liable. So so dear, maybe it's Rabbi Akiva in our Mishnah who says you can take the Chala prior to the actual time when it's liable. At when, in other words, when you pour the water into the flour, says the one, no. Kumam Rabbi Kiva El Lashavar. There, Rabbi Kiva is talking about Lashavar, which is the Yerushalmi term for what? <laughs> logical, logical. For Vidyavid. Lashavar means Vidyavid, meaning after the fact, post facto, right? Now, Shema Bitchila. Do you think he allows you to go ahead and do a Sukhatchila? And our mission it sounds like you can even go ahead and do Lukhatchila. It's true it's not the most preferable, but it's even pre- it's, it's even okay. So say so, you were talking about where you can go ahead and do and do it. Pre- before the fact even. Look, he said, You're right. What we really meant is your Dula Bashitas Rabbi Akiva. We meant to say that um, here it's similar to the Shita Rabbi Akiva. Not that it's the same thing, but here it's similar to the Shita Rabbi Akiva. Uh, now, w- why would you be permitted to do this? Uh, the the, the Levi Shalim explains here, in the parish on the side, that uh, this this is permitted in order to prevent the Chala from becoming Tommy. Here it's mutter even l'chadchila to take off, although it's not preferable again, but it's mutter even uh, before the fact to take off the chala when it's still just water and flour because that's the earliest possible time you can take it off since you know you're not allowed to take chala off of flour per se. And that way you avoid more potential more potential time when it's exposed to possible tuma. And so you expose to this way you take it off as soon as possible. You get any possibility of exposure to any possible tumor out of the way. So that's why there's somewhat of an advantage to do it either, easier or earlier. Am Rabbi Yechum Revelin said, Tivra Kolhi. Am is not just like Rabbi Akiva. Everybody agrees with that. Kevin Shino Senes is Amayim. Once she puts the, the water into the flower, Zoe Reishis Ariso Sechem. 
this is the beginning of the needing and Reshis HaRiso Seichem is what Chala is called and therefore you're allowed to take off the Chala already at that point okay even before kneading. It's the beginning of the kneading process when you put the water in. Now, Tanya. It should be, you have the, ta- we have, you have the Tani, it should be Tanya. Tanya, Meiser, now, uh, uh, Meiser Tevel, meaning, this is Meiser, but you haven't uh, taken off the Trumas Meiser, right? You haven't taken off the tenth of the tenth, which goes to the, to the, to the Kohen. So it's called Meiser Tevel. Okay? Meiser, which is still Tevel. Sheni Sar which can mix up into some chulin, the stuff which is regular, uh, 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 regular chulin. So then, uh, uh, not meiser, not truma, not anything. Oser b'cholshu. No matter how small amount of this meiser falls into the chulin, it answers it. No shear. Why is that? So the mafarshim explained it because it's davar sheir shlomatirin. Anything which you can rectify in some other way. We don't get bit of by. And this can be rectified elsewhere, uh, elsewise. It's a coin of phrase. Mm-hmm. How is it rectified elsewise? Uh, I'll tell you. Im yeshto parnosu makamacher. If you have other meiser, Mrs. Zui, you have the place? No, I not We're on Tesvav and Bay. Is it shown? Yeah, Tesvav and Bay is the if he's got, got a way to take off Truma's Meister somewhere else, in other words, he has other Meister, which is yet, as of yet, Tevel, which is not yet tight, and he can take from there Truma's Meister on both batches, on the batch which he has, it, uh, which be, which got mixed in with the Chulin, and the batch which is independent still. So you take off from that batch based on relevant proportions. And if not, what do you do? So Rabbi Lesser Ben Aruch said, an interesting thing. He said, you still don't have a place? No, no. Ben Rach said, Omer Yikor Shein Trumas Meiser Shebo. You know what? Designate the Trumas Meiser in this, in this situation. Designate it. It's somewhere inside this mixture of Meiser and Chulin. And then, if you have the proper proportions for Yala Bagas you can be, the, the Trumas Meiser is Bartel in a hundred if it's still, if it's there's enough chulin and regular meiser to cancel it, so uh, there certainly is ten times the trumas meiser, right? Because trumas meiser is one tenth of the meiser. If there's a hundred, a hundred opposite the trumas meiser, so then the trumas meiser is bottle. And you're allowed to put yourself in this situation, into a situation where the trumas meiser is going to be bottle. It's not called Ema Vatlan Yisrael not allowed to be Bato, because it happens on its own. We could designate it and then automatically becomes Bato. Rabbi Yaakov Kvulaya, Rabbi Yaakov the baker, B'Sherem HaChina said, Alok Rebbe Lezim and Rach, you're allowed to do that. Am Rabbi Yochadon, Rabbi Yochadon said, I'll bring a right, you're not allowed to do it. B'Mashalim to us Kohanos, from that, from the way they taught the Kohanos, the wives of Kohanim, to take off Chala, Hada Amra and Alok Rebbe Lezim and Rach, teach us all of us, not Rebbe Lezim and Rach. Now, why are the wives of Kohanim taking off Chalos? Why were the, the rabbits that say Chalos? They would go even to the to the Yisraelios and take off their chala because they were baki, they were fl- or confluent in Nalachas of Tumantara. So you knew how to avoid being matam the chala. So therefore, if you had a dough, you wanted to be uh, to take chala off, you would take, call the the local Kohen's wife in, and she would take the chala off for you. Now, how would they used to do this? So the way they did it, says Rabbi Yochan, is going to disprove Avlos Ben Arach. How so? Mali do us a Kohanos. How to teach the Kohanos to do this? This is what the Kohanos would say. They take, grab a fistful or whatever it is of chala, and they say, "Harezu chala isa zazos." Let this the dough be the chala on this on this on the dough I have in my hand. Let it be the chala on this dough. Vala sorry mi sorry ba and on the sour dough mixed into it. And on the flour which is left, which is not yet fully mixed and kneaded in. And on the uh, small pieces of, of flour which are not yet uh, of dough, which are not connected to the main body of dough. And that too as well. kula uh, gush. Uh, after, when they all become one clump at the end of the kneading process, let the dough which I've already now taken off become chala on all of them. 
uh, uh, when they all become one body. That which is my hand should be Kodosh Lashem Chala. Chutz mina Tomei Shaba. Now, except for, for the Tomei which is in it. That was a very interesting thing. She's holding on to dough. She says, let this all become Chala. Except for the Tomei stuff which is my hand. The stuff which is Tomei in my hand should not become Chala. Hold she well, it's got to work. It's got to work because of Breira. It's got to be because it's the Rabbana. Chal Bismana says the Rabbana. So that's why I assume it's going to work. Or that's why I assume it works. And uh, now, uh, in this case, again, she selects. She she might have. She's going to Mrs. Amoritz's house, and she's only up uh, to take of Chal there. She might well have Mrs. Amoritz. Might well have. Stuff which is Tommy. Stuff which is Torah, stuff which is Tommy. So therefore she says, let everything be taken off, let all the chala apply to the part of my hand which is the Torah stuff and not the part of my hand which is the Tommy stuff. Okay, that's what she's saying in this house. Now, um, I'm sorry, let me just sort of check this. <laughs> yeah. Now, the truth is, there's a problematic phrase later in the Gemara which I want to put in here. The Gra puts it in elsewhere. He plugs it in somewhere else. I want to plug it in here because this is the best place to plug it in. And once the grow lifted up out of its original location, so I'm I can plug it in. I feel licensed to plug it in where I want. Okay, fair enough. So take a look at the design of a base for a minute. Well, actually, design an alpha, Susie. Design an alpha. Uh, I'm going to find this for you. Uh, It's right, it's about five lines to the bottom of the page. There's Ach Lotasa Gush Echad. Maybe a little more, maybe eight, eight lines to the bottom of the page. What? Do you see it? No, for two lines above that. Ach Lotasa. About five, six lines on top. Oh, okay. Achlo tase gush echad he lushum chala. This is clarifying what the woman's doing, the kohenes. She takes, she takes in her hand dough. Prior to all the dough getting mixed together, right? Because she says that be chala on the dough which is already there, and on the flecks of flour, and on the separate pieces of dough. So it's not yet all one unit of dough, the the batter. So she's saying now, but she says misha taase gushechon ikadesh l'shem chala. Let it not become chala in my hand until the needed part of the dough is fully connected. So it should be challah, not on multiple small pieces of dough, which is problematic, because some of it might be dough, some of it might be flour, some of it might be separate, and not mina mukov. But I'm taking it now with the condition that the kedusha does not take effect until such time as the whole dough becomes one piece together. Yeah. Forward. No, this is forward. It's Mikano Lahabo. Right. It's like what's called in the yeshiva circles, Mikano Lahabo Lamafreya. So the initial activity is now, but it's not going to take effect until later on. Right. So that works. Yeah, that works. That's what we're talking about. No, that's okay. That's legitimate. Now, the Gemara, going back to where we are, ask, the Gemara, ask, ask Rabbi Yochanan, V'amar hu v'atomeshabah. So wait a second. So why don't you just say that it and that which is Tommy within the hand, let it both be chalo. 
Let's get fair, Lach. Now, v'yalab echod memeil. Let out is my hand. The <coughs> tamei part. Be brought out in a hundred in the tar part. What? No, she's well, but she's the only old thing. No, it's let's assume. Why does she have to preclude the tame from becoming chala and say let all the, only the tar in my hand become chala, right? <laughs> let also the tame part become chala. Ah, it's tame, so let it be bought on one in a hundred. The assumption Rabbi Yochan's making is that she's holding enough chala that whatever's tame should be bought on whatever star that she's holding. So he says it's right against well, against Rabbi uh, Lazar ben Arach. Lazar ben Arach says you can be mivatel the can be mivatel one in one hundred. He was able to be mivatel one hundred as well. So I I I, I don't know. The quick answer so obvious. I really don't understand the question. Rabbi Yehuda Amar Rav Shmuel Kapukaya the Chaimir Rabbanu one of the rabbis also said Chaimir Kam. One answer is Chaimir Kam Sheish Bihogi or Bok De Lahalos depends what the ratio is. If the ratio is one to hundred, the taka works. Kam Shem Bok De Lahalos. Here there is no ratio. That's why she can't say it. That's one answer. Another simple answer. The Chorot Amai, the other one said, came he cave on Shehu. Now here is a typo again. Instead of Zok allows it to be Yochel Asaki. So if you can fix it up, can be Sheish Leparnos and Mokamacher. And which since she has the right, since she has the capacity of saying, well, let part of it become Chala, not the other part. So why should she make the Tomei part Chala? So two answers why she doesn't make the Tomei part Chala and let it be Bato. A, there's not enough to be Mavatalit. B, even if there is, but she has, you, when are you allowed to take off challah on Tomei and let it be Bartel? When there's no other place from which to take off uh, challah. But if there's enough tar to take off challah, so take off challah from the tar. But the Tomei is mixed in with the tar. So what? The Tomei is mixed in with the tar, isn't it? So you don't know how to separate and say this part's going to be. No, but she can say it, verbalize it. She says, let the tar part be one of taking on the, taking his chala and not the tummy part. And the pronouncement should work. That's what he's saying. Let the pronouncement work. Okay? It's, all, it's, all, it's, it's semantics, but it should work. That's precisely the point. Um, so says the Gemara, uh, uh, yeah, I'm Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi said, now, from here until the Mishnah is a tremendous amount of mistakes. Tremendous amount. Extraordinarily amounts of mistakes. It's all very logical, but it's not written well. Om Rabbi Yossi, near in Dvarim, when can you do this shtick of the Kohanos? When can the Kohanos do this thing? They can say, take Truma now, like take the Chalo off now, but not have it take effect until later on. When can they do this? Barve Shabosos. An Arab Shabbos. Now this line is cryptic, but what it means really is that there's a lot of flour and a lot of water. Lots and lots of flour and water. Right? The, everybody's bringing a lot of stuff. Because the covered shop is Kodesh, right? So So what happens is at the time she separates the challah, it's right after the water has been poured on the flour. Since there's so much water and so much flour, the odds are immediately when they pour the water on, or so shortly thereafter, there's enough water and flour mixed to be the five fourths, five five fourths, which is the minimum shear. So then she get away with this on an air of Shabbos. However, Ava Bechol, but if it's in a weekday. We have many coolers by Chala on a weekday. In fact, Tiknu Bechal, she tells me not Tor, me not Tommy. You can take Chala from Tor on Tommy. And they also made a Takoni de Chala, Shalomina Mukov. Even not from the same vessel as the, 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 the dough which you're needing. However, Shema Miptur Al Chiyuv. How could you take Chala right now? right after the water has been poured into the flour. Perhaps there isn't enough yet mixed together to make it even chayv and challah. 
So how she could even how could she even initiate the process by saying this which I pick up is challah? It might not be challah at all because it hasn't yet taken effect as a challah on a sufficient amount of dough in order to be chayv and challah. So really, the Gemara is, the Gemara is saying that you need to make sure that when you begin this procedure, you have five fourths of water and flour ready mixed together in order to initiate the challah process. And that only works out on Arab Shabbos. Now, Am um, Rabbi Yoyin, Rabbi Yoyin has said the exact opposite. Lo mistabra da ela, right, the low in the Yerushalmi, of course, is always da ela. It only makes sense today, this thing about the Kohanos, on a weekday. Bechol. Tavka on a weekday. Why in a chol? Because what's she doing? She's taking me not Torah or Tome, this Kohanos. She's saying, I want whatever's in my hand, which is Torah, to take imperfect as chala even on the tummy part. Let that in my hand, which is tummy, not take effect. That's what she says, right? That's Avo Be'erev Shabbos. That should said a weekday. But Erev Shabbos, Tzich Lomar Hiva Tome Shabo. On Erev Shabbos, she's got to take chala also on the tummy. Why also on the also from the tummy, from the tummy part? Why is that? Because Loma. Why? Because now skipping the part we read before till him. You see till him, skipping to him. Im oimer ad chutzmin ad tomei sheba. If you're going to say that she's going to take to chal only from the tar part and not the tomei part in hand, nimtza tevel tomei. So it comes out that tevel tomei is muurav is mixed in as a type of here to be according to the grub b'chulin. This is a fascinating example to wrap on. This can't be the raisa. Can't be the raisa. But what we're saying is like this. It's an amazing thing. It's a great chak. He says that, listen, if it's Arab Shabbos, what do we say? They're vast volumes of dough. The, on Arab Shabbos, there may well be five fourths of dough which are tummy. In of themselves are tummy. So if you don't take off any tummy challah, on that tomei dough, it looks like that dough is remaining tev- chulin, uh, tevel, right? It's not really true, because you can you can take off at least the Evan from tar on tomei, but it looks bad, because it looks like that tomei stuff is not having challah taken off on it. So therefore, says Rabbi Yoyna, on the contrary, where can I take off from Torah and Tome when the Tome is insignificant? What defines the Tome as being insignificant? Where there probably isn't five-fourths of Tome. But on Erev Shabbos Kodesh, when there probably is five-fourths of Tome stuff, right? Because there's vast volumes of dough. So in that case, not to take off from the tummy on the tummy looks very bad. It looks as if there's no chala on the tummy, and it looks as if the tummy was not rectified and remains chulin tevel. Okay? Means. Yeah. The probabilities, though, it's, it's assuming two major probabilities. Number one, that five fourths of the dough on the Arab Shabbos will be tummy, and the other is that you won't have no. very much tummy dough during the week. Yeah. Then that the Gemara is saying is very likely. Gremite, that's what the Gemara said before. Again, in that cryptic line, I probably didn't translate it sufficiently, even because I said just said it's cryptic. Zemavia v'zemavia. What does that mean in Arab Shabbos? It means all the women, all Mrs. Am, Mrs. Reuben Amorts, Mr. Shimon Amorts, they would all bring their dough together to the Kohanis to take off. Very likely. They're all bringing it together, yes. Okay? Mrs. Cohen lived in a city Yeah, she was uh, the, the rabbit. Okay? Says Gemara. Mitoksha. Uh, now. Oh, this is a, well, excuse me, this is a, uh, yeah. Okay, is, just ignore that. Well, hmm. since you said that it and the Tome therein will remain right? Right? Uh, no, I forgot what this means, actually. 
Okay. Yeah, this is this is a very uh, this, this line is perhaps the most cryptic lines of them all of of all of them. Let's let's try and figure it out. Mitok shat omer chiva tamish shabo chulint mei. It look. It since since uh, ultimately, uh, you can't take off like I just said. You can't take off from Torah and Tomei. On the, on, on, on the books, it works. You can take off from Torah and Tomei. It's not not to fail to take off from Torah and Tomei. So since you could say that ultimately the the, uh, the whole thing is going to be the the stuff which is uh, which you're not going to uh, the stuff which is Tomei is Chul and Tomei Lo Mutav Lahafish Mi Ptura Chiyuv uh, uh, and here the gra changes it. Isn't it better lavish mina Torah la tome? Now, it's an unclear line. It's a difficult line. But I think the Gemara is asking is that I don't understand. A push the question. Since Ikaradin, you're allowed to take off from Torah and tome. So just take off from Torah and tome. Why are you bothering to make a proportional? You uh, because of appearances. Who cares about appearances? What's the primary halacha? They are allowed to take off from Torah and Tame. So take off from Torah and Tame. What's so good for Allah? What? It's Bidiyavid, but it's not It's not a, you know, it's not a an Isser, right? No. So therefore, that's what I think he's saying. And this is a situation anyway where, it's, where, where we have difficulties. So I think that, that we should allow this to happen. Let me just make sure I'm getting this right because I don't know... Is that exactly what's going on here? No. That's not how he explains it. Le- okay. Levi Shalayim says, Mitol shat omer hu v'atom ishebol chulin t'mein heim. He has learned that that's part of the previous statement. That's part of Rabbi Yoyna's statement still. And what that means to say, Mitol shat omer hi v'atot hi v'atom ishebol since you're saying that it and Meaning the the stuff in her hand which she took off is chala, which is tar, and the tome in her hand is chala. So chulint meinhein, she's taking off on that which is tome in the batter, and then instead of being tevel tome, it's chulin tmein, which is better, and you can still you can use it. Uh, 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 the line is a very difficult line to read, but again. He said, "This is part of the explanation." Let me go back. Maybe if I read, a, uh, I'll take a flying leap at it, so you'll see what I'm trying to say. E, uh, let me start from Im Omerad again. Im Omerad chutz minat tamishibah. If she's going to say that, let that which I took up be a chala in the tar part, not the tame part. Nimtza tevel tame. So then people are going to perceive that the stuff which is Tommy was never rectified. And it's going to, people are going to perceive that the Tommy stuff is still Tevel, Mu'urav, and it's mixed in with the regular, which should be Chulin, the regular Chulin, which is the tar stuff which was rectified. Therefore, that's why she should say, I'm ta- the Chala should be both the tar part of my hand and the Tommy part of my hand. And that way the tar is going on the Torah stuff and making it regular chulin, and the Torah is going on the the Torah stuff and making it chulin main and and making it chulin main. So is that clear? What, what is the, what the Gemara? What it is? It's all part of the statement. All part of the statement. That it's better to do it this way in order that the Torah partner hand should go on the Torah part of the batch 
and the tummy part of her hand, she'll go on the tummy part of her batch. And then the more adds the cock, which I told you before. Says more, I don't understand the whole thing. Lomutov la hafrish, minatora la tome. But on the final analysis, isn't it better to take off from the Torah and the Torah? Why should you have to do this? You tell, tell me because of appearances, forget about appearances. Let look at Iker Adin. Then you take off from Torah and Torah. The Gemara doesn't answer the question. The Gemara just loses the difficulty. Okay? Now, the Gemara goes on to a new question. Uh, oh, no. I'm wrong. You know. The, this is still part of the question. Lo mutav lavish minatora tome, the lo yet tevel tome mura bechulin. And anyway, won't have tevel tome mura bechulin. It's all one part of the question. In other words, your premise is that people will only understand if tor goes on tor and tome goes on tome. Everybody knows if Torah can go to Tome too. So take her from the Torah on the Tome, and people will know that both the regular, the Torah stuff is Chulin, and the Tome stuff is Tome Chulin. People are not going to make the mistake which you're thinking that they're going to make. So that's the Gemara. The Gemara doesn't answer that question. The Gemara just leaves that difficult. Again, Gemara asks the Rabbi Yaina that you're saying that people are not going to understand the difference. They will understand the difference. They're sophisticated enough. And the Gemara doesn't answer it. Now the Gemara, though, goes on to a different question, which is the Lebu Shalim points out as an unspoken question. Gemara is about to ask a question, which it doesn't speak out. Gemara is just going to give us the answer, not the, not the, not the question. The Gemara's question is... Wait a minute. Rabbi Yoyna might say that the Kohanas can only do this on weekdays. And not on Arab Shabbos because the Rabbi Yoyna's suspe- uh, worry about appearances. That people are going to think that the Tomei was not rectified unless you take from Tomei and Tomei. Granted, we asked one question on him. We didn't answer it. But there's another more basic question, perhaps, which is on a weekday, if you're going to engage in this procedure and say, I only want to take off from the Torah right now. So if that's the case, oh well, excuse me. On a weekday, if she, the Kohen says, let me take off now and let it take effect after time, so at the time she takes it off, perhaps there's not yet enough dough to constitute the shear of Chala. Because remember we said on Shabbos, Arab Shabbos, and there's so much, the water immediately gets absorbed into large amounts of flour, and then there's enough right away to engage in this procedure. But on Arab Shabbos, but on a weekday, which Rabbi Yonah is speaking about, how is there enough dough to engage in the procedure? So, Zumar does not ask that question outright, but if Shmuel Barav Duma comes to answer it. Amr Shmuel Barav Duma, Lo lema freyo he kadesho. It, it, it doesn't it work that retroactively, meaning like we said before. You're right. Right now, there's nothing to talk about. But we made quite clear already previously what do we say? That now she takes it off with the intent that when it's going to take effect later on when it becomes one clump. And so then, since right now it's only in potential and not a practice, it's not a problem. Because the time it can, when it becomes in practice, Kurdish, by that time, really, there'll be enough dough in order for it to take effect. And what happens if Taka, there isn't enough dough? And just Taka wasn't Chayv and Chal to begin with. No, so the Chal is just like Chal of Atola. But uh, <laughs> there's no, yeah, I keep, right, there's no, <laughs> there's no, no, um, no devil involved. Okay, so meaning from later on it works from now. It's like she was taking off from chiv and chiv. Okay, now says Gemara, if that's all true, Lomali, <laughs> why did it say in the Mishnah? Say in the Mishnah. Oh, at the very end of the Mishnah, at the beginning of the parak, it said, "Ovach yesham chameshes v'ayin kemach." You can only take off challah when there are five fourths of the, uh, of of dough already mixed. It's not true. As long as in an hour there'll be five fourths of dough, it's enough, right? Now you don't need five fourths. Five fourths only needs later on. So this is more on my Rebbe. Rebbe said, "Masni so our mishnas koydem ach lo limdu sakana." This is before they were labdonim. Later on, when they come, I'm him, so they knew we could take off now. It'll take effect later on. But beforehand, they're pushing the in. When they're pushing the in, and they thought if they're five force, now works. If there ain't no five force, <coughs> it's not. <coughs> it's not going to work. Okay. 
That was the difficult part for this evening. A little bit rough. Vaiter, halacha base. Vid mo isa sachlo gil 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 galta gil galta. Let's say her dough got mixed in with truma before she needed it. Petura. So there is a cost of its potter. Anything which is now mixed in truma and chala is potter from chala. So truma and truma and dough is potter from chala. Shamaduma potter. If, however, it was already needed, and then the truma fell in, so since at the time it was needed, it was completely chulin, so then you still have to take off chala. It doesn't exempt you. Chayavis. Similarly, no la savik too much lo gilgula. If you got a, a savik tuma occurred to the dough prior to it having been needed, so then teasa <coughs> you take off chala. <coughs> but you can take it off as tummy, you don't have to be makbid on taro. Mishagilgla, if a suffix too much be felt once you already needed the dough, then you have to assume potentially that it's perhaps still tar, and therefore you have to be more makbid and teosa with taro. You have to conduct yourself with the chal as if it's tar, even though obviously you're not going to be able to eat it. The coin, even the coin can't eat it, but you have to still assume that potentially it's tar and treat it as such. I'm Rabiana. Rabiana said. Titan million, two things. Tiny Rabbi Ruba, Rabbi Chia the Great taught us. Vino Pli and Chada Al Chada, they argue on each other. What are these two things? Te, first of all, Tevel Minyano Bichulin. Now, <coughs> even though it says Bichulin, it's as if it says Kichulin. Tevel, we count like Chulin. Meaning, we have Risho, Latuma, Shani Latuma, No Shlishi Latuma. Right? Only Rishon and Shani, not Shlishi. Hai Tevel includes Truma, right? Doesn't matter. Still has a lock of Chulin. That's one thing. The Chaz Safek, the Chaz Safek, Posel Sa Truma. How, the other thing we learned is that any Safek passels Truma, and Posel Sa Chulin Milas Sosa Truma. And it passels the, 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 the Chulin from becoming proper Truma. In other words, once you have a suffix, so the truma itself becomes possible, even if it's not yet truma, even if it's still in, in the tevel. The kasha, these seem to be mutually contradictory, right? In tevel, minyono bichulin, if tevel has the status vis a vis tuma of chulin, lumly paisos are truma. So how can you say that a suffix tuma already passes the truma, meaning. Passes the potential truma in the tevel. As a truma vesachulin, as a truma vesachulin. I'm sorry. As a truma vesachulin, we also say truma that a passel truma and the potential truma for minyano bechulin be counted like chulin. So it's a contradictory thing. What is it? When it's tevel, is it chulin or is it truma? Which one is it? I'm Rabbi Yehon. Rabbi Yehon said, "I've honored Tina Tarteon." Chulin. Where do we see that by Tevel the Tuma and Tara goes count goes like Chulin? The Tnin on Tamon we learned over there. Um, it's a per- mission of Tvulio. Din and Tamon, Ochel Meiser. So you have food which is Meiser. Now this is Meiser, but Trumas Meiser has not yet been taken out. So it's it's te- it, it's Chulin, which is Tavul the Meiser. Tavul the Truma. Right, it's red like tev, like tev, te, tevel, because it's the truma, truma smaiser, sink kedushas truma, meiser rishon has no kedusha, so this is mamish like regular tevel. It's a classic case of tevel. Ocha meiser shuluchsher v'mashke, which has been rendered suitable to be makabel tuma, because it came to contact with moisture. V'nogabel tvulyoim, and a tvulyon touched it. Or a daim so if somebody who had not washed negovaser. Who both of which are considered in Allah to be a Shani Latuma. Mafri Shimi Menu Truma Smicer, Bitara. You can still take off Truma Smicer, Bitara. Mibne Shu Shlishi. Because the Chulin only became a Shlishi. And is there Shlishi in Chulin? No. So therefore, this Tevel did not become Tame. So this did become Tidikon Tame. So the Truma you should take from is still Tar. Hadamra, this clearly teaches us. That we count Rishon and Cheney, but not Shlishi by Tevel. That's one Mishnah. Yet on the other hand, we have a Chaz Safik, Paisal Satruma. 
How we know that he saw it renders truma possible. Opos says that chulim lasos and truma and renders and even tevel possible. The tnin and tamon because we learned over there, meaning over here in our mishnah. No let lo sofik at shalokil gila. If you got a sofik in your dough before you needed it, teyoseh betuma. So you can make you have to you can regard it as being tummy. Hi, where does suffix occur? Only in the tevel, not in the chalo itself. And nonetheless, we re- we assume that it has the status of being tummy, and therefore you can be lenient and not safeguarding the dough as you prepare it. Only in mishagilu Only if the suffix occurred after kneading, then you have to continue maintaining a high level of safeguarding as if it's completely tar. So we have a contradiction between our and the Mishnah. It's not just in Rabbi Akiva himself. Arm Rav Sheish, Rabbi Sheish says it's not a kasha. To Rabbi Akiva, he. Our Mishnah is like Rabbi Akiva. How so? To Rabbi Akiva, Omar Yasena Betuma, Vayasena Kabin. Rabbi Akiva said, you know what? If you have stuff which became. Um, uh, Our mission would says that he give you you can do it, but too much going like Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva said that you don't have to divide up your dough and maintain its level of tara if it got a suffix. You can make a betuma. Yes, yeah, send a betuma via send a copy. You don't have to make it into small batches. <coughs> what 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 would be the advantage of small batches? Yeah, then he wouldn't take off challah altogether, right? That would short circuit the whole challah issue. So Rabbi Akiva is a big kula. He says you can do it betuma and take off challah tmeya. You don't have to dafka making the small batches to avoid the whole challah business, right? So our Mishnah is going like that. Our Mishnah is saying that. Oh wait, wait, wait! Not our Mishnah. Wait, wait, wait! Is it our Mishnah? Oh yeah, it is our Mishnah, right? That's our Mishnah, which says if you got the Savi Tuma before it was Gilgala, before you before you needed the dough. So Gizotate, make a Batuma. That's Rabbi Akiva. The Mishnah there in Tfu Yom The Mishnah No, the Mishnah by uh, Hey, I mean, sorry, sorry. This is a new sugya. <laughs> when it says, uh, when it says, um, Rav Shesh, it's, it's a new sugya. The Bible, the Ushami, I forgot, didn't answer its question. The Ushami had the steer in Rabbi Chia and the steer in the Mishnayis. Then on one hand, it seems that Tevel has the status of Chul, of, of Chulin, and the other hand, Tevel has the status of Truma. The, the Yushami was brought down the question, Rabbi Chia, and the question to, to between the two Mishnais, and did not respond to it. It just left it hanging. It's not, it doesn't tend to respond to it. He brings down here the Lev Yushlai that the Bavli, I don't have any recollection of this Bavli, but the Bavli Nida Dav Zayin asks the same question and responds to it. And it says that uh, <coughs> they uh, not in Rebbe Chia himself, but in the Mishnayis, it says that Tvul Yom is different. Because Tvul Yom and Yodayim are really not telling me the rice at all. They're not even training me the rice. But Tvul Yom is already, qua- already quasi tar. It's certainly not a shani, and your daim are also torn me the raisa. It was rabbanon who were goyzer, so that's why really chule the teva which became tome is taka like truma, and therefore it has shlishi. This is talking specifically about teva which became tome with a tuma de rabbanon. So since the tuma de rabbanon, so rabbanon were not so stringent, and they said that it still retains its tara the raisa. So therefore, he continued to make truma to hira from it. Okay, that's how the Bavli answers reconciles it to Mishnayis. But the Yushami doesn't answer. The Yushami just leaves it difficult. Now, going back to the Gemara itself, Am Rabbi Sheshes Rabbi Sheshes independent of the previous sugya, completely independent. He said, Am Mishnas Rabbi Akiva. So Rabbi Akiva Am Rabbi Akiva says Yasen Betuma. 
Commissioner, in full yellow, says it reckons it in terms of upholding my tax because because it's Tuma de Rabbana. Tuma de Rabbana. It's Tuma of full yom or Tuma of uh, of your dime, which are both Tumas de Rabbana. Okay. I'm going to have chases. I'm Mishnah the Rabbi Akiva. Without trying to reconcile anything. Finished. No reconciliation here. I'm going to have chases to Rabbi Akiva. Either Rabbi Akiva or Mar. Yes, yeah, send it to my send a copy. We don't make it. We let you go through the Chala process and make your big dough and make your Chala Batuma. You don't have to try and make it the separate little batches. I'm um, Rabbi Zero says, nah. -uh. Everybody agrees with our Mishnah. When do I say Yasena Kabin? That's when it's Batuma. It says here Besvekam, but it should be Batuma. When I say when do I say it's when I say it's Yasena Kabin? That's when it has a status of of true Tuma. But here it's not true of true Tuma. Here it's not when it has a status of Tuma. But here it's not Tame. Here it's just a Suffolk. So since it's a suffix, I let you go through the process and take off your chala betuma. If it was bona fide, Tarme, so then I'd say short circuit the chala process, making it small batches, right? <laughs> Even Rabbana could agree with that. Okay. Says the Gemara, "Hey, Rabbi Chia, Ber, Rabbi Boon, Kumi, Rabbi Zira, Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Boon, ask Rabbi Zira, how can you say this? Vatani, didn't we learn Abishar meaning Cain? Okay, we learned also by other fruit, other fruit, which got a which got a suffix tuma before you finish working them over, so then you complete them betuma." Once you, meaning you could do the miruach or the whatever else is the gemar malacha betuma, whatever else, whatever it is, okay. So there we say even islam the meimar, and so yasena kabin betuma. By the other meaning is there a concept of do make it bekabin? In other words. Uh, 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 you wanted to say our Mishnah is taki going only by Sophic, but where it's not so fake, so then you then you may then <coughs> when it <coughs> when it's definitely Tommy, then you do it carbon carbon carbon. You do it in a way which short circuits the chala process. So it says the Gemara, that's that that's no good. You can't interpret our Mishnah that way, because our our Mishnah draws in uh, in the Tosefta, which is the background for our Mishnah. It says that by any fruit, once you get a suffix tuma, you continue doing betuma, right? So it doesn't draw a distinction between chala in dough and any other truma in any fruit. So if by definition it seems. He's asking <clears throat> that it, there's no other alternative procedure by fruit. So to here, there's also no other alternative fruit procedure, meaning that whether it's a suffix tumor or a vade tumor, you proceed to go on and do it with tumor, because otherwise we couldn't lump together other fruit and grain. We would have to and challah. We'd have to say that by other fruits, regardless, you go on and do betuma. But by chala, it depends. If it's a suffix tuma, then you can go on. If it's a vare tuma, then you can't go on. You do kavin, kavin, kavin in the smaller measures. Since the Gemara doesn't, since the Tosef doesn't to, to draw a distinction, it must be our Mishnah is Rabbi Akiva, who holds you never do kabin. Even by Vadai Tuma, we let you go through with the Chala procedure and take off Chala Betuma. Okay? Rabbi Zvida said, On Omar, on I asked the same Kasha. Period. <laughs> Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, but Shem Rabbi Hila said, "Bedinu sheitame adam tivlo dvar Torah." Really, we, we could have said that uh, once once you have tevel and it becomes suffik tuma gezunta eight. Keep doing it but tuma, regardless. Well, how so? Even if it is only a suffik tuma, why? Because. It says vani dixi vani nein asai even the subject tuma and even if it's after uh, uh, Gilgul, regardless continue doing betuma why because it says dixi vani nasati lacha as mishmeres truma see I gave you the safeguarding my truma 
truma tzricha shimur. The truma re- has to be maintained in a, in tara and a tevel tzricha shimur. But the tevel doesn't have to be maintained in, in tara. So uh, I really shouldn't need any safeguards whatsoever. Regardless, just keep it uh, to once. Uh, I can be careless, and certainly if I have a sopic or a vadai, then I continue to do a bituma. There's no problem. So says Mani Mekayim. However, I can't say that because I have another pasuk. Mani Mekayim when the sati men is truma Hashem la rona coin. Pasuk says you should give from it the truma Hashem to Aaron the Cohen. That means I say she no saying lola Aaron a coin bekuna. So make the make sure that you're able to give Aaron a coin the stuff which is coming to him as a coin in its proper way, meaning Batara. So the other the first Pasuk would have indicated that only Truma requires Shimor, not Tevil. The second Pasuk says I have to we have to watch Tevil and make sure the Tevil comes out to her. Says the Gemara the Khan so why here where it became so where it became Sufik Tame before it got needed I can continue doing Batuma because since anyway I'm not gonna be able to give it to Cohen in its proper form ultimately. So therefore I can relax my guard and do the whole thing Batuma anyway. Okay, we'll stop here for this evening. Pick up next week. Bye tomorrow.